Hello guys and welcome to part one of part three. Part three. Part three. And we're looking at part three of our first Royal Rumble here. To be fair, I don't think anything looks good in these. This um doesn't yeah. really fit. No. Oh well. Championship. Yeah. That's the one. Yeah. It's quite loud though. Just just gonna turn him down a bit. Mm. Of course, Bianca Belair uh, earned her way in here by getting a dinky victory. <laughs> so, she really earned it. Well, it wasn't her fault. Yeah, well, it kind of was. She just frustrated Asuka so much to the point that Asuka had to get herself disqualified. Well, in my book, that's, that's earning it. That is what it is. She couldn't beat Asuka, but Asuka no. beat herself. Congratulations. That's you the beat only, yourself. That's the only one. You played yourself. She's <laughs> the only person that can beat Asuka. Yeah. We, we've worked that out in years of universe mode. Basically, yeah. Did Asuka ever lose? She only lost the title once, and it's because Tamina pinned Rhea Ripley in a triple threat match. Yes. Speaking of Rhea Ripley... Here she is. At least she's not going up against Tamina. Uh, she has a horrible record against... Uh, nobody is meaner than Tamina. No. That's right. You're, yeah, she, she technically did lose that match. Hmm. She's I think she also lost her. a tag team match at one point, but was also not the person being pinned. It was insane. Charlotte, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I like this new entrance. Yeah. Representing the Judgment Day, the only member of the Judgment Day on the show, other than, I think, the two boys? Yeah, the two boys were in the Rumble. Well, they did the alright. The two men were in the Rumble. The boys Yeah, the boy, the, the boy was definitely yet to be seen. I'm surprised he's not out here. Maybe uh, they didn't let him in. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh... Maybe he's breaking uh, laws or something. Well, we are in Saskatchewan, Canada, as per That's usual. That's right, so he can't cross the border. Maybe they didn't let him in. Yeah, they probably wouldn't have let him in with that criminal record of his. Yeah. And she's going to do the thing. Oh, her eye was very red then. A lot of pink eye for Rhea Ripley. What's on her choker? Can you, can you make that out? or Me? Wait. With my pink eye? Uh... Latex. No. That's what it says. It says latex. I really can't get it. No, not no. a clue. That's Could just say right. Ripley. It might. Oh, 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 oh. oh. No, oh, no, not a clue. Not a clue. Oh, well. That's right. Doesn't matter. Does not matter. Oh, and there goes the squeaky. <laughs> it says Totino's, our sponsor here for Royal Rumble. <laughs> for this, <laughs> the Totino's uh, Royal Women's Championship match. And we've got the male referee again. Yeah. Good for him. Yeah, equal opportunities. Yeah. Here we go. We've had two referees. That's more than normal. Yeah, that's true. So Bianca and Rhea. It's a big difference from Roxanne and Liv. They yeah. both went for a punch. Rhea somehow faster. Mm -hmm. I guess Bianca is no longer the fastest. Well, she caught that. Oh, I actually didn't get that one. That's weird. Oh, and an immediate try at the cover-up. Yeah, no. lots of lots of uh, roll-ups for raw superstars. Mm. Can't really blame her. Belair, big forearm. Kick. Slap. Oi! I hate that kick. That kick is... Mm. That's the one that ended Goldberg's career. Mm, that is correct. Not Goldberg's. The exact animation. <laughs> the Bret Hart. The Bret Hart. Well, it should have ended Goldberg's career. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it should have. You would have thought. Oh, <laughs> everyone powering through. God, that one, <laughs> that one forearm yeah. smash just takes so long that it's. Ah, oh, lots of forearm slashes here tonight. Oh, mm. and off the ropes, and oh, a split leg. Right on the knees. Right on the knees. Ooh. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> just. Trading knees to the face, apparently. Hey, we got one. Since when? Ooh. What the hell? Ooh. Well, could this be it already? <laughs> Bianca into the cover one. And Ripley kicks Massive out. Power out. One count. I've already seen these big moves, but. Oh. Not a lot else done. Going for the KOD early oh. on, Rhea. Able to reverse it. Oh god, this animation. 
That's alright. Bianco's stunned. How did you get stunned from that? <laughs> she swiped into the headbutt. And what is oh. this? Going for the Riptide. Riptide. Bianca's, uh, her hands on the ropes. Yeah. Ref called it. Unfortunate death for Rhea. The Riptide could have put her away, but... Poor ring awareness. No, it's that one. Yeah, it's, yep. Look at the Spanish announced team. Look at them. Look how happy they are. Bianca with the reversal. Got her up. Snap Ooh. suplex on the outside. Rhea gets back to her feet. Went for the headbutt. Oh. Didn't get there. And well, in, 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 oh. in the ring with the KOD on the outside. Damn. Now she's got to get Rhea back in the ring to win this match. I don't know what's going to happen if there was a count out. Rhea in the middle of the ring. Bianca not making mistakes. Two. Oh, and Rhea powers out. Wow. Just took too long. They've just been going hammer and tongue from the start. Just huge moves early on. As Bianca going for another one, just gets punched in the eye, dodges that one, and Rhea dodges that one. Just counter for counter from these two. Oh, Didn't hit that one with the big boot. Catches her, leg Ooh. drop misses. And we're back to a back and forth context from these two women as. Oh, Rhea blocked the hair! <laughs> she blocked the hair! I haven't seen that one. Now, what is this? Just stomping. Damn. That's the shoulders, the chest, the sternum. Belair could be winded too. Oh, but just kicks out. Just. And we see that stare down again. <laughs> she just kicked that right in the face. Oh, but a possum pin. And Belair, while well, her hair's in the ropes, does that count? Two. Well, it is Rhea part of the body. Out. Well, uh, I don't know if it really counts on Bianca Belair. I don't know if it's real. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Oh, okay. It's a weird pullback. Mm. That's right. It is what it is. Oh. Belair going for a clothesline. Rhea countered it. What is this? Whoa. Oh my god. What the hell? Oh. <laughs> it's Damn. dropped her down. And <laughs> another one! Another one! Belair still got fight in her, but not enough. Somehow that may have gassed Rhea out. <laughs> oh, she's caught her. Yeah, Ooh. we saw that from Gunther. That was his turning point against Cody. Will it be the same one against Rhea? Uh, for Rhea, sorry. That's, what the hell? Well. <laughs> Camel clutch, but it was in the... The ropes of ring awareness of Rhea Ripley, not quite on Ooh. display here. <laughs> Just... <laughs> oh, I will kick this one as well. Just almost like she's playing with Belair. We are now in the apron. What is she going for here? I wish it faced her, but when she did That's that... That's alright, she's coming up. Oh, Ooh. and just... What was that, an elbow drop? Yeah. Like a clothesline or something to the outside. Whatever it is, it did damage. And, well, little payback for Rhea here. She hits the Riptide Ooh. on the outside. The outside Riptide. Alliteration. No, that's not. That's rhyming. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, she can't get her in the ring, apparently. Well, they're just bouncing off. Is it him? It might no. be. Well, she's going for the camel clutch again, facing away from the from the um, <laughs> the hard cam. We don't even see what's going on. But the front row certainly has a, a good view of it. Not that any of them seem to give a shit. No. No one gives a shit about any of these matches for some reason. Uh, it's just the front row. Yeah. Maybe we should stay out of Canada. No, we can't. Otherwise, where would we film? That's a good point. Maybe we have to move. Oh. Ooh. What is this? Bianca. Well, a little bit of strength Whoa. left. Showing it off. Two. Drops her down. And of course, we know stalling the suplex had so much more power <laughs> by defeating any momentum. Yep. What is this? Oh, Ooh. well, we're not going to find out. Bianca with the reversal. Clothesline, finally. She's trying to make a little bit of a comeback in this one. Why does everyone go into that corner? Oh, spear. Well, it's just a knee. Alright, I'll take that. 
It is what it is. And Bianca now going for another Ooh. one. KOD. One. Two. Oh, Ooh. really powers out. Not even just a kick out. She powered out of that one. Oh. Oh. Well, <laughs> I don't know oh what that God. means. You can't win the title by DQ. <laughs> so I guess that means <laughs> women's title is still vacant. It's still vacant. Oh my god. Well, Rhea with a lapse of judgment there. Maybe she thought, oh, well, I'm taking a lot of damage. Maybe time to just back out a little. Well, so no women's champion on, on Raw. Wow. Wow, that's... For the time being. Certainly going to put a spanner in the works here. Wow. It's one way to start part three. But we got to move on. I guess we do. So... We'll find some answers eventually. Yeah. Well, after whatever that was, <laughs> the Raw Women's Division is in a complete shambles. Hopefully we can get a legitimate victory over this next match. Well, let's but, hope so. And a satisfying conclusion, at least, hopefully. We hit our penultimate match and the final of the SmackDown Tag Team Champ P on um, Ship yeah. Tournament. Yeah, the championship tournament is the conclusion right here. We see the Street Profits, Dawkins, and Ford. Ford. I was going to say Montez, but yeah. it doesn't really work. Montez, Dawkins, and Angelo Ford. Hey, of the Boston Fords. Yeah, of the Profits of the Street. Can they be the inaugural champions? Mm. Here in Canada. I'm trying to work out what team they are. Um... Uh, the colours or where yeah. in Canada? Um, the... Yeah, I got no idea. Doesn't matter. Of the teams I know, they, that's not the colours. Yeah. So. That's, it's definitely some sort of thing. It doesn't matter. Yeah. The real question is, will they be tag team champions? Well, they got to go through two more, two more guys. You know, after they already won two matches. Going through four. Four so guys got each team. Two wins, 2-0 two and o for both teams going in. One of these teams is going to lose their perfect record, and the other team will be SmackDown Tag Team Champions. It's quite exciting. Is that Belair on his arm? Montez, is that, is that Belair? Yeah, yeah it, it is. is. That's kind of cute. Interesting. I would never, but that's cute. Yeah. And of course, as we talked about the Street Profits, their opponents, no easy feat for these two. Of course, the other member of Imperium, Gunter, already proven himself as the new Universal Champion. Well, you see him there, and he's got the belt, and he's stuck it to his jacket. Yeah, that is just stitched <laughs> and in there. And you can kind of see it, he's already got his own side plates on there. <laughs> already. Already. He Wasting no time. He is efficient, just like in his match with Cody. Pure efficiency. Absolutely. Yeah, accompanied by Gunther, the Universal Champion. Will they hold all the gold? I said it at the end of part two. Imperium to hold all the gold. Mm. Is it going to happen? Well, it's happened with uh, the Bloodline. Yes. Holds all the gold that they were up for. That is true. Wall. Can we see the other one? Will we see complete, stable dominance? Smacks him on the bum. Mm. Yeah, it's a sports thing. Yeah. What team are they? Um, USSR? Sure. <laughs> no, they were red. USSR well, they, were, they red. were red. Yeah. Until today. Does that make them the, the Allied Forces? I suppose, yeah. But that... Well, the Allied Forces were never against the USSR. Hmm. Yeah, that but jacket, though, makes... Ludwig Kaiser looks so big. Yeah. And it makes Vinci look small. It's <laughs> fucking weird. I don't understand. Vinci isn't as short as I thought he was. Yeah, I know, right? But he's also wham. So he just looks really, <laughs> he's really tucked into that jacket. Hmm. Well. That's what it's all about, folks. That is what it's about. I'm trying to see what the crowd is chanting. But, who knows? Baseball, baseball. That's probably it. They're chanting for sports. Mm. 
as Botez Ford is staring at those <laughs> titles. He needs those titles. And now uh, he's relaxed. These titles just cement anyone as the best champion at the time. Ford just having a quick word with his partner before he comes back in. He's confused as now he's up against Kaiser. Well, he kicked out. Lots of rollouts him. coming from one side of the, the match <laughs> in a lot of these. Yes. Well, those people haven't won, so is that a a sign that the Street Profits are going to win this one? My god, this man is quick. My <laughs> Dawkins is having absolutely none of that. Oh, and a chop lock. It's like he's an Uso. It's like he's an Uso. It's like he's an Uso! One, and it's... Will he have the pop and lock punch that <laughs> proved disastrous? I would not put it past well, Montez. He does have a super kick, so... <laughs> and he's wearing sneakers. Yeah. And joggers. He's basically an Uso. The similarities are endless. He also has a black wife. Yep. Who was a wrestler? At some point, yes. Mm -hmm. Don't know what she's up to. No, I never heard of her. Which one's wife? Are we talking about the Uso or are we talking about <laughs> what this Ford? Yes. Oh, a European uppercut from the European. And another tag out, and he's confused again. <laughs> Ford has no idea what's going on. It's like he doesn't understand tag team wrestling. <laughs> and he's just getting to be fair, beaten ne up. Neither do Ooh. we. So, gut wrench into the Ooh. power bomb. One. Well, he knows how to kick out, and that's yeah. really all that matters. And he's rolled out, but probably not on the best side. <laughs> oh, Gunther's just decided, nah, doesn't matter. He wants nothing to do with the Street Profits, and honestly, if I was the Universal Champion, I too would not associate with that kind of filth. Mm. I mean, also, a DQ. Wow, well, we've seen <laughs> I mean, that. Yeah, it's the... But let's not talk about that, it makes me sad. Let's move on. We've seen two DQ finishes in a row for the Women's Division on, mm. on Raw. It's like they have no idea how to win a match. Maybe they just want no DQs. It's because they were in uh, all those tag team matches. Mm. They don't know how to be singles wrestlers anymore. Back suplex. And we see the first introduction of the biggest man. Yeah. That's his nickname. An immediate world's strongest splash. The slowest animation in... <laughs> oh, and Kaiser was there just in case, but it's alright. Well, he's in a two-on-one situation as Gunther just watches on. He did get caught with that drop kick. Now Vinci turns him Ooh. around. We're we gonna see it again. We're we gonna see a squat. No, he's just gonna Ooh. stall it. Let that blood rush to the head. He's and holding on. And down. Bam. That one actually has a nice impact on it. Well, guess not. He got distracted by Montez Ford and got caught with a DDT. One. One. I think he slapped Dawkins in the back of the head there as well. Now just trying to crawl. Or maybe he's playing a bit of possum on Dawkins. Big, big clothesline. Go on. Take that, you bitch. Oh! Did you <laughs> bust him <over>? Yeah. <laughs> And Kaiser is busted open after a... Oh, what an elbow. Dawkins is actually the best. Like, why is he the better one? I don't understand. Jesus Christ. He's just... A lot. Mm. <laughs> and now going after the knees of Vinci. <laughs> I love that move <laughs> so much. It just works so well. Oh, Ooh. he's giving a bit of a cuddle on Pride Month. Yeah, uh, Angela Dawkins is a accomplished amateur wrestler. I thought you were oh. going to say something else, but that's all right. <laughs> An accomplished cock goblin. Yep, that's the one. He's going for another super. Oh, oh my, my god, I forgot Jesus. about that move. I forgot that's his signature. I forgot about that. Wow. Uh, well, that's one. And yeah, well, Ford wisely breaking it up. But damn. 
Oh. Is this on the shoulders? Oh. Huh. Okay. The, the time bomb? <laughs> no, not quite. And Imperium is one. Well, yeah, just like that. The strength of Vinci. We were trash talking wow. him a little bit, but Jesus. fucking hell. The power on display to do this, the big man. That's Those belts look very blue. Wow. Oh, well, yeah. All, now the Imperium owns all the blue gold. Silver. Oh my god, look at his nose. Yeah. Wow. Kaiser got absolutely ruined on the outside, but Vinci stepped up today. And showed an inhumane level of power, but obviously it's humane as he's a human, and he did it. Wow, Imperium with a very good victory. That ends the championship matches. We move to probably the most important match in the entire series. Yeah. The Women's Royal Rumble in the main event. Main event. Here we go. And here we go, starting things off is Bailey. Bailey could have been in that women's championship match, but instead she's gonna fight her way through 29 other women. Mm. She wants to win this Royal Rumble. But Bailey, not only very skilled, but very crafty. Yeah, there is a likelihood of her making it all the way through. She could go the distance. It is very, very possible. Could we be seeing our Iron Woman now? Might possibly. She disrespects the crowd. Mm. And can she reach the, reach the heights of the men's number one, Shanky? That man did do quite a lot. Mm. He is quite a man as well. Yes. Young Shankster. They look almost the same. Bailey and Shanky. Yeah, if the word Bailey hadn't been on screen, I'd have been I, very I, yeah, confused. I, I'm, I think we were just rerunning the men's rumble again, honestly. Mm. Out next is Fear Mahan. Yes. I wonder, mm. who is the Veer Mahan of this match? Who could it be? Bailey really nah. just... I don't know if she's happy about being number one. She doesn't look it. Well, that's certainly <laughs> no Veer Mahan. No. You can hear the music. None other than... Rebecca. Yeah. Rebecca Lynch. Wow, that hair is interesting. Well, making her debut here on this season of universe mm. mode yeah entrant number two in the rumble well this could uh throw a well something in the plans of bailey mm. what oh. <coughs> okay we just phased back into <laughs> becky and, and bailey <laughs> and immediately okay starting that's, the royal rumble off that's straight. fine we heard the bell bailey becky going at it one and two <laughs> becky on her debut Bailey already trying to get under the crowd's skin. Probably not amazingly smart from her. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Becky with the kick. I thought mm -hmm. Bailey was going to go over. No. Who is number three? Wow. Okay. So we're starting this one off strong. I didn't see this one coming at all. What the hell? Becky just Whoa. twisted Bailey across and over, dropped her hold into a. <laughs> SDF. Wow. Okay. Bailey fighting out of it. Trish smartly staying out. Not a bad idea. As well. Becky on the outside. Trish and Bailey going at it instead of taking out Becky. Is that smart? Mm, possibly, but. Who knows? Probably They're just not. not eliminating each other. We're even seeing a fourth person come in. Who is I think at this point, <laughs> the men had already gotten rid of two people. I but... think everyone was gone by the time. The women. I don't know, maybe they're just enjoying the spot, the, the spotlight, the main yeah, event. Yeah, this is the big main event. This is the first pay-per-view of this season of Universe Mode and main evented by the women. They want to stick around as long as possible. Maybe have a second match if yeah. that's what we're after. Carmella also quite accomplished. Uh, mm. Held the Money in the Bank briefcase the longest out of anyone. What is there, seven titles for Trish, four for Bailey. Yeah. Six for Becky? Six for Becky, I think. Yeah. It's like 10, 18 women's titles. And another quite accomplished woman, Queen Zelina. And the first ever and only, so far, Queen of the Ring. And a former women's tag team champion as yes, well. Yes, of course. Let's not forget about that. Carmella immediately got With Carmella, Becky. actually. Yeah. That's true. They were both. Will Becky cool. be the first one eliminated? Carmella and Trish. Well, Trish has got a handful of something there. My God, Trish. Put that away. <laughs> You can tell she's from the Attitude Era. Yeah. Bailey going after Deslina. 
Yeah, that's Queen Zelina. Is she gonna get her up and over as we see the debut Ooh. of Alexa Bliss? Carmella helping eliminate her former tag partner. It's every woman for themselves in this one. Another former women's champion in the ring. The woman that held down the first ever season of mm. Universe Mode. Well, on the Raw brand. Yeah. Let's not talk about it. What yeah, is this for Carmella? Yeah. yeah, her and Sasha Banks had a hell of matches. Lots of matches, great matches. Really held the women's division strong for Raw for the only point in time. But of course, Sasha Banks having to retire, oh, yeah. so we won't see any more of her. And here comes number seven, an unaccomplished woman, and oh! oh Zelina okay. with the first elimination of Alexa Bliss! <laughs> Before Scarlett could even get in the ring. <laughs> just, just one for another. Wow, Ooh, and right. our first elimination is for women's champion. Alexa Bliss. Oh, uh, Alexa's really kind of uh, dropped off the pace since that 2K17 series, but I didn't think it was that bad. <laughs> oh my god. A leg drop from Carmella. Cross-legged fisherman buster. Yeah. Driver. Bailey got yeah. planted and straight back to her feet, and well, we didn't see her at all on time. Oh my god! Can oh I just Jesus! Try? Oh my god! Why would she have that? Why not? <laughs> Jesus. Everyone okay. else does. We're seeing another debut with JC Jane. As I said, we didn't see her on SmackDown when her uh, stablemate Mandy Rose was fighting for the Women's Championship. But of course she was drafted third for SmackDown. Yeah, she was drafted the along with the rest of Toxic Attraction. Will we see JC Jane's moment? Becky doing that move again, showing that even the computer doesn't realise there are other moves. <laughs> it's like the Usos. Mm. And well, speaking of Toxic Attraction, here comes her partner. Yeah, a little bit of help from JC Jane. Here comes Gigi Dolan. Because this ring is filled up already. Eight women in the ring. Only the one elimination. Maybe we're going to see two. Trish mm -hmm. over. Becky finding her out. But Trish able to get out of it. Mm -hmm. Lots of action in the middle of this ring. Everyone fighting everyone. Bailey, Becky, Ooh. and Trish, and Carmella. And a nice DDT. Four. Of course, Selena, Gigi, Scarlett, JC. We got one mm -hmm. through nine in the match. Ooh, Scarlett maybe trying to eliminate JC. We didn't get there. No, because we didn't. We didn't see Scarlett come out with carrying that uh, fatal four way. No, it was probably Ooh. too dangerous for her to. to didn't want to cop a stray chair to the head. Yeah, there's a lot going on. Oh, and a team up between Trish and Scarlett. Almost the same person. Mm. Both blonde in the latex. A lot of latex going on here. Because everyone knows it's the best material to wrestle in. Yes, because you can't get caught. How are you going to get grabbed to get thrown over the rope if you just slip straight off? That's a good point. Covered in lube. But how are you going to hold on to the rope? You old all slimed up. Yeah, especially Scarlett, she's got latex gloves on. Great not idea. The, not the smartest idea from her. Suplex. Becky rolls her up. No, and she can't move. win by pinfall. Instead, goes for the power bomb. Haven't seen an elimination since that one of Alexa Bliss from none other than the Queen Zelina. What? is going to happen next. A forearm from said queen as her and her former tag team partner go at it once again. The computer just isn't even trying to eliminate people in this No, group. they're just beating each other up. I told you, they just these women really, really want that spotlight. Forearm from Becky. JC dodged a kick from Bailey and oh, Zelina holding on, but oh. Gigi comes running. And now Gigi Dolan, the only one with an elimination, but Oh, there immediately eliminated by Becky. Now Becky, the only one with an elimination. <laughs> Just trading eliminations. Surely the next one gone is going to be Becky then. Well, Carmella's going to have something to say about it. And Instead, oh, there goes there Scarlett, goes Scarlett. From Trish. Becky's still up on that top rope. Could we see Carmella eliminating Becky Lynch? Flying close nah. line to the back of the head by Trish. And Becky's still in this one. One, two, three, and four still in the match. And Bexplex. Nope. Trish fighting it. No, she's not quite. Neck breaker from Becky. <laughs> from Bailey, who hits a, a chop block. block on Becky. I got there eventually. Yeah, we'll get it. 
Ooh, Ooh and a belly to belly. I finish it, and she's feeling that one. Elbow. There's a lot going on. Number ten. Ooh, Piper Niven. My old Piper Niven. That is someone who will change the landscape she's of this completely match. Completely gonna change it. A debut here, but. She could be disastrous for the other women in this matchup as Becky oh! goes. And Bailey. No one able and to stay in after they get an elimination. Surely Trish or Bailey are the next to go. They've got to be because no one can have more Ooh. than one in this match. Bailey from number one. Trish number three. Carmella number four. Still in the match. I think JC was eight. Piper 11 as we've seen uh, a sorry, debuting Tiffany Stratton Tiffany Stratton comes in at the big 1-1 one, one. could this be Tiff time mm -hmm. Tiff, Tiffy time I think so she says I think I guess something like that as what is this oh just a real slow DDT very slow DDT from Carmella and oh, oh. Bailey hit a finisher on JC if she was to pick her up on Illuminator this might work Guess not. Mm -hmm. Guess not. Guess not. Trish off the ropes, bounces off Becky uh, and <laughs> Bailey, and number twelve another debut, Indy Hartwell. Oh, Carmella hanging. Can someone get over there? No. no. Instead, she hangs on. Happening Ooh. here. Okay. A lot. A lot is on happening. On that left hand side of the ring, India, uh, Hartwell and Trish, Bailey just hanging out on the floor. Piper now in the corner. What the hell is Carmella doing? Just elbows and now, here comes the cousin of the referee we saw earlier. And the Tamina's person in this match. Yeah, the Tamina's person, former SmackDown Women Champion for five days. Tamina, yeah. who looks in great shape here. Looks absolutely great. Another powerhouse to, well, not quite rival Piper Niven, but she'll give it a go. And this could be a showdown we're looking for as Trish perched up on that top rope. Can Indy Hartwell eliminate Trish Stratus? What would that do for her career instead? Trish able to fight out of it. And as Piper see, going yeah. for Tiffany. Oh, and Piper Carmella and hitting a super kick. That's the second finisher performed on. JC Jane there. And no one is trying to eliminate her. Eight women in the match again. Bailey from number one still going. And oh, look at the power. And a DDT. Indy's really going after Trish. Carmella up and over. Indy oh. with a elimination. And now Piper going for Indy. Is that going to be History it History shows this is it for if Indy. You get an elimination. Oh. There you go. Able to just hold on, power slam by Tiffany. No, as, yeah, just, Indy. Just hanging on. Just hanging in there. Trish Stratus is the only person, other than the new Indy Hartwell elimination, to actually have an elimination. And Bailey. And Bailey. Oh, yeah, Bailey has one. Oh, Bailey God. from number one, Ooh. still in this match. And, well, there goes Trish. There goes Trish. Our first double elimination goes to number one entrant, Bailey. Bailey. We talked about her being the Iron Woman in the entrance. Oh, she's really giving it a go here. Everyone With else around Jane her finding a second wind of some, of some she's sort. She's just got completely hit by three finishes, I think, at this point. Yeah. Still going. <laughs> she just shoved Tamina off. I said she might rival the strength, but not even close. Number no. 14 is Lita. Will she have a bone to pick with Bailey after the uh, elimination of Trish? Instead, Tamina going after her as she goes after the up and comer Indy Hartwell. But every, no, every so said, often, the AI just enters a loop of not eliminating people. Yeah, they like that. Oh, there goes there Tamina. There goes Tamina. And you and your big mouth. Yeah, I know, right? It's every single time I mention that no one's gone. It's just like, nah, here, here, here one person. And now Bailey going to try to eliminate Lita now. As Indy going off the Piper. Not even lifting her off the ground at this point. One leg is number 15. Mandy Rose coming in to back up JC Jane. Halfway is, through this match and Bailey's still in there. She's still going. JC's had a hell of a showing after getting demolished by all those finishes. Oh, and she just 
bounced off Piper Nevin. <laughs> Jumpers completely springboarded off of her. Bailey going after Piper, who athletically Whoa! gets over the top rope, but there, there she goes. There goes Piper. Bailey with her third elimination. Wow. And what is Indy doing? <laughs> Just spinning around Bailey. And then a slap to the back of the head. Ooh, a discus kick from JC. Who is still, still here. Yeah, she's and still going. Whoa. And wow, this is not a good sign for any of the women as Tiffany gets powerbombed onto Lita. And a double backbreaker. Number 16, Charlotte Flair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bailey's still going. Now there's someone who could actually oh. do some damage in this match. But as we've seen, anyone could. Absolutely, anyone can still win this. Bailey could be the one. Oh, and oh, oh, there it is. Hits a finisher. And doesn't go for the elimination as Charlotte's yeah. crawling to the corner for safety. Oh. Holding on. oh, and there goes Mandy Rose there goes Mandy and, and Casey Jane. like that. Bailey picking up her fourth. Uh, Tiffany yep. picking up her first. There's toxic attraction just goes like that, and out comes number seventeen, the veteran Natalia. Oh, <laughs> I was just gonna say that <laughs> looks like Lita was gonna eliminate. Oh, well, Charlotte she still can. Oh, no. Charlotte reverses it. And oh, oh instead, okay. there she goes. Lita picking up another elimination. There goes Charlotte. We're talking about Charlotte being dangerous, but she's already out of here. Bailey's still going. She's iron woman the hell out of this matchup. She's definitely been here the longest, I think. Yeah. We're even in both rumbles. Yeah, by far. Indy up and over. Oh, Bailey saving her. Natalia looked like she was going after her, but oh. Bailey and Angel. another. Surely this time she eliminates him. No, instead turns her attention back and, to Indy Hartwell. And Bailey getting some backup from damage control. Finally, some backup. Number eighteen, Dakota Kai, who yes, yeah, straight after Indy Hartwell, always oh, been a thorn in Bailey's side. Bailey is gassed. Can she hang Hold on? on. Oh. oh, there she goes. And number one has finally left. What a and showing! And so is Lita. Wow. There immediate is, revenge. Yeah, I was going to say, a little bit of payback from damage control. There goes Lita. Now, we see Natalia. And Dakota working together. So we see a debut of Alba, Alba Fire, Fire here. And Natalia holds on just. Mm -hmm. A lot of a lot up of... and comers in this and Natalia. As Alba just <laughs> smothering Indy. No. I think Indy's been here the longest. Uh, now? Tiffany? Uh, I'm not sure. One of the two. Oops, we're gonna pay that. First number 19? 19, I believe. Uh, 20. 20, Zoe Stark. Zoe Stark, another, another debut. Another one. Seeing a lot of debuts. It's almost like there wasn't a lot of room for women's action. Mm. He definitely tried. That's true. Tag teams and triple threats, but. Not enough. There's Tiffany. Looks to eliminate Indy Hartwell. She's going for the power slam, and, and there, there she goes. goes. Indy with a good showing here. One elimination, but she really stuck around. There we go. Alba Fire and Tiffany Stratton. Dakota Kai going after Natalia. As number 21, here comes Aaliyah. Someone sure to change everything. Could she go to WrestleMania here? Oh, and Natalia smacking Zoe Stark off of Alba Fire. Mm, that's interesting there. Springboard from Aaliyah and then the bicycle kick. Aaliyah clearing house. <laughs> it's the freshest <laughs> competitor in this matchup. Oh my god, was that a hip toss? Sit out? Yeah. What the hell? Six women in the match so far. Number 22. Here. Yes. We go. Three, two, two one. one. It's Sonya Deville. Deville. Someone who got eliminated pretty quickly in her yeah, she women's was, championship she qualifier. She was embarrassed on SmackDown, but maybe a bit of revenge. Just trying to take out this women's division and go to WrestleMania. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. Leah just smacking her out. And Natalia is very... She's perched again. Oh, but she's done. Uh, she's not out. She is still standing. 
Two, one, number 23, it's Cora Jade. Yeah. Well, she's going to have it out for Sonya Deville. No, she's not. Nah, she might, because they're on Raw together. Smackdown. Smackdown. Amazing work from my... <laughs> I forget that I, from I've done Raw for five years, man. What do you expect? Is Cora Jade straight away with an elimination? Who was it? I didn't... I'm Zoe Stark. It. Zoe Stark. Yeah, that's how much she matters. So we've only got three women in this match that have been seen so far. Yeah. Cora and Sonya, who both were the first members eliminated in their triple threat matches. Yep, and Dakota Kai in a losing effort against Asuka and Bianca Belair, but we all know how that turned out. Well, yeah, Asuka turning on Belair in their match and spraying her with mist. and Two DQ finishes in a row. And then Belair got punched in the face. Yeah. Natalia dragging Alba Fire. Oh. Setting her up for, a power, going for slam. a power slam. Gonna get her and up and there over. She goes. Power of Natalia. And Alba Fire is out. The fire has been put out. The fire has in go. fact been put out. Hmm. Bulldog. I told you they'd have. Oh my god. There's a lot going on here. Yeah. Natalia up and over and Sonya Deville with elimination as I, Natalia's tag team partner shows up. Could we see immediate revenge like with damage control? Yep, looks like she's going after her. Instead, she's going to sit there and let her go after Tiffany Stratton and go after Aaliyah and slow. She kind of headbutted her. Yeah. Uh, I and there goes well, Aaliyah. There goes Aaliyah. I was going to say, I think Tiffany's been in here the longest so far. Well, that's at this point, remaining. it is true. Yeah. And uh, she's also got two eliminations, which is more than anyone other than Lita and Bailey. Yeah. This is number 25, I believe. I believe so. Shayna Baszler. Baszler. We talked about Aaliyah changing the game. <laughs> oh, this one, certainly. Shayna could clear house right here. <laughs> Beth tried to go straight after her, but instead the two former MMA fighters going after each other. And Cora, <laughs> I said she'd have something for Sonya. Yeah, I and told you. Shayna and Dakota eliminating Tiffany. Yeah, real life friends. Taking out... Mm. Uh, Tiffany Stratton, I've forgotten what her name is, Dakota, that's the one. Yeah. As we see number 26 coming in. Who could be number 26? Raquel it's Rodriguez! The powerhouse Raquel, who, uh, well, probably should have been in that women's championship match if it wasn't for Liv deciding to have the match of her life. <laughs> Raquel mm. now, should she change, should she? Could she change the game? Instead, Dakota Kai. Oh! <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Someone just cancelled you out of that animation. Dakota got maybe a migraine? Something. Instead, Raquel now throws her up and over, and there she goes. And now we see the... Oh! Number 27. Candice LeRae. As Raquel is just going after the wow. war women. She just does not care for anybody else. And I believe another SmackDown woman has also entered the fray. Would be as Shane is the only one left from <laughs> Raw. It's uh, very SmackDown heavy. We already saw SmackDown winner Bobby Lashley. Could we see another one? Shane is just <laughs> doing push ups. <laughs> Gotta get your cardio in. Why not? Raquel mm. going after Sonya. Gonna try to throw her out the same way as she did Dakota. No, Whoa. Sonya staying in. And Eo Sky. Oh my another god. Another from Roy entering. Finally. Oof. Maybe Shayna has some backup. No, she doesn't. No. <laughs> I can't imagine these two like each other very much. No. Oh, Shayna went for the knees of Raquel. Everyone going after Raquel Rodriguez in this one. Oh, <laughs> just a left hand. Whoa, there and there goes Cora Jade. Who was that, Eo? I think it was Eo. I think so. Oh. Number 29. It's Shotzi. Shotzi. Wow, I really whistled on that <laughs> one somehow. Shotzi with the um. Shotzi. Shotzi. Can't do it again. No, it was a one-time thing. <laughs> Raquel really is not happy with Beth. She's just not letting her have it. Went for the drop kick, didn't get there. Can Raquel eliminate Beth? Oh, I need no. 
There's just a lot of women in this matchup, and we still have one more entrant Wonder in this one. Wonder who that could be. The coveted number 30 spot as Raquel takes out takes Shayna. Takes out Shayna. Her third elimination. Oh, <laughs> going after her, but she saw it coming just. Oh, oh and well. it's Asuka. We uh, talked about Asuka. I think it's over, guys. We talked about Asuka before. And let's not forget that Poison Mist can't disqualify her in this one. She can that use it as true. much as she wants. If the computer will let me hit things. Nah. Just, nah, just why would it do that? Asuka tripping once and now just surveying the climate. That's smart from Asuka. Veteran maneuver. That one. Trying to stay away from anyone else possible. As now Sonya is Sonya's gone. Sonya's gone. Mm -hmm. A lot happening. Oh, I'm back to my feet. Didn't even yeah, notice. you are. Thanks. Thanks for letting me know. Oh, Shotzi. Going after Tiger. Oscar. Oscar reversing. EO on the top. Over the top. Oh, Ooh. maybe not. Shotzi just hanging on. Shotzi number 29. Jesus, Shotzi is really trying to kill me. There you go. <laughs> I help. That one. I'm just getting attacked. And Shotzi's finally gone. As Oh, well, there goes Raquel. There goes Raquel, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> and I am no! <laughs> Why? There goes Oscar. And there goes Oscar. Oscar. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, oh. Candice LeRae, Io Shirai, <laughs> Beth. <laughs> Phoenix. Phoenix! Wow. What is this? <laughs> oh, <laughs> kind of poison runner on so we've got, Well, we got Eero from Raw, we got Candice from SmackDown, and we've got <laughs> Hall of Fame of Beth Phoenix. An exact replication, sort of, of Bobby Lashley, Rob Van Dam, and Ricochet. <laughs> what is going to happen now? Wow. Who is going to win this one? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, there she goes. Candace in control of this one. What Whoa. is oh, happening here? Really has slowed down the pace. <laughs> yeah, Candace has completely slowed this match up. Well, that's a good idea, you know, you take control and really... Oh. Try your best. Of course, Beth would have that slam. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> does. What is going to happen here? Eo back to her feet. Oh. Candice. Candice, strong DDT. Up and down. What's that I hear? Is that a commercial break? Whoa. This is Big Papa Pump, and you're in my freak zone. You want to work out with me? Oh, that's a car I didn't like. As we come back from commercial break, these women still down. Beth in control. Ooh. Taking out Candace. Back to her feet. What is this from? Eo corkscrew. Ooh. And maybe wisely, the two actually uh, active competitors are trying to take out the Hall of Famer. Uh, well, Eo did not like that as well. She's up and over. And whoa, what is this? Into a neck whoa. breaker. Candace eliminates Beth Phoenix. And she's caught from the back. Eo has her up and, and over. Wow. We come back to commercial break and see the end of this Royal Rumble. Wow. As Eo Sky is the winner. Yeah. That was that was a lot, guys. <laughs> there was a lot going on. But Eo somehow from 18? 28. 28? Yeah. Oh, Dakota was 18. Yep. Candice is, was 27. And did Bobby win from 28? I think he did. Was he 28 or 26? But there we see it. She's going to WrestleMania to face someone. <laughs> Somebody. Who knows? We have yet to decide, obviously, the Raw Women's Championship. <laughs> but 
Io with a hell of a win. Whoever win, whoever wins the Raw Women's Championship will be facing Io Sky at yeah. WrestleMania. Io has booked her ticket, and so has Bobby Lashley. As we end one chaotic episode, wow, of Universe Mode. Congratulations, Bobby. Congratulations, even more to Io Sky. What a way to end this one. Mm. But after all of that. We've got to close it off. Yeah, we had to cut to commercial as yeah, well. Like wow. We're really on running on time. But as always, I'm Declan. My name has been Jake. Thank you for watching. We'll see you on Raw. And as always, stay jamming. Fuck the Hulk Hogan. Fuck the Hulk Hogan, jabroni. 